This is Ron with Art Gallery Showcase, and we have the extreme privilege of having Susan Leonard in with us today. And we've been talking, and before you became an artist, you did all kinds of stuff. I did. I, uh, I was a script typist for the show Heart to Heart. That was a long time ago. Um, I also was a court reporter for 10 years. That must have got exciting at times. It was very exciting, yes. So when did the art happen? Well, I started painting when I was 10. Um, I painted since I was 10, but I had to have a, a career that made money. So mm. I had various other careers, and, uh, but I kept painting you know, as a hobby. And then uh, 2000, I think six, I became a full-time artist. So you get up every day, paint, Yes. And go from there. Yes. And I you do a lot of shows and online and everything else then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get up very early. I'm up at 5 and I start painting by 7, 7.30. That's what a lot of people don't understand about artists. It's like a job. Yeah. They get up, they have commissions, they have work, they have shows coming up, and they, they get up every morning at, and they have the same thing as we do. Have breakfast, out the door, you know, we're out the door at 8, you're behind the easel at 8. Absolutely. Do you work more than one piece at a time? I do. I usually work about four or five. That's really interesting. Some of my artists I work with will only do one. Mm. And then four or five is really cool when they do that. I like to set it aside, get a different perspective, and uh, go back to it. Yeah, it takes time. Well, we've talked enough about that. Let's look at some of this beautiful okay. art. Okay. This first piece. Serenity of the Sea. Um, so that is the ocean floor bottom. And I really like this piece with the reflections and the sand. And it really draws you in. And you feel like you're floating in the ocean. Um, and the color is so beautiful. I, I just sold this piece to a couple that lives on Balboa Island. And they have a room that is actually under the water line. And so they bought this piece to put on their wall in that room. I think the biggest problem I have with looking at your art is I keep thinking it's a photograph. Right, yeah. Because the reflections and the lighting is absolutely perfect. Let's Thank th you. And that comes into this next piece. Shades of Caribbean. So this is more of a contemporary piece. Um, one of the galleries that I'm in is a very contemporary gallery, and they request uh, paintings with a more contemporary side to them. So that one is uh, Shades of Caribbean and it's really all about the contrast and the white sand and being a square canvas, uh, you know, keeps it on the contemporary side. Do you see squares becoming more popular lately? I do. And I'll, uh, this year I saw rectangulars, uh, I mean verticals. The uh, 36 by 12, it seems like I sold a lot of those this year. And I think it's because really they fit on um, those awkward walls that are narrow but tall. Usually on a hallway when you come down right. before the first door there's that space where they're always looking for a great piece of yeah. art to put at. Let's look at the next one. This is the one that I love. I mean. That was kind of an experiment. I wanted to see if I could get those reflections off the the top of the water, uh, you know, with the ripples of the tide. And, uh, you know, when you're up close, you just see a bunch of white dots. But when you step back, you get a new perspective. And I think it really does look like a photograph. You need to do more experiments, apparently, because <laughs> I swear it's like I'm, I'm on my whale watching today and click, got me a picture of the ocean with a little bit of break going. And that's exactly what it looks like. Thank you. Let's look at the next one. So my twinkly lights. This is uh, Balboa Island. And um, you know, during the last couple of years, um, I was looking to get out of the house. And a, a sunrise was always something that I like to do. And so I would go down to the ocean you know, before the sun came up. And I noticed all the twinkly lights. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could paint that. You know, what, the, what would that look like on canvas? And so that's where I started painting the, you know, the nocturnals with the lights. It's amazing part about it is you got the stars, you can see the, the skylines, and you can see the buildings. And I just about can tell you exactly where you're at looking <laughs> at this. The pavilion. <laughs> but the m impressive part is the reflections down in the water. Yeah, that really adds depth 
to it. Because it, it ties it mm -hmm. in and it makes you, it, it really does. Yeah, you kind of need that to, you know, bring you into the canvas. Because it's so dark mm -hmm. all the way, but it's all broken up into three levels. Right. And, and I can just see the sun breaking. Yeah. Know, coming back. So yep. Let's look at the last piece. So that is a view of um, South Laguna. I took that from my friend's house. She lives uh, up uh, near Nice Canyon. And uh, yeah, it's just the coastline. And it's a square canvas. So um, you know, it's got a little bit of a contemporary feel. And um, very dark. But I think it's very moody. I love it. It reminds me of a rainy day, kind right. of. Like the, the mist coming in or, the, you know, and what's really neat about it is it's so dark, but so descriptive still. I yeah. can still see everything. Yeah. Even though the canvas is extremely dark. Right. And we still got the stars breaking through. We got the, the one star there, yeah. Well, it's been a privilege having you here today. It's been a lot of fun. I learned a lot of great stuff. Thank and, you. And uh, can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Me too. <laughs>